What's up you guys, it's uh, Hectic Hex. I'm currently filming the video here at work. Um, I don't really have any time to make a much, uh, much, uh, much of a video at home. So I had to do it here at work. And so some things came into the package. It was some limited run stuff. If you saw the thumbnail, you saw me burning up my package. That's not gonna happen. It's just a clickbait. I'm not gonna burn my fucking money. No, no. But I'm, I am gonna take, I'm gonna burn this fucking bowl though. I'm gonna take a hit in front of you guys. So you know what, might as well. There is fire in the fucking thumbnail. Might as well use the fire. Man's greatest invention, which is coming to light that that wasn't man's invention after all. It was some other, some other species, sub subhuman species during that time of human civilization. Anyways, we will take a hit. Anyways, <coughs> on to the video, we are going to talk about for Limited Run, which I got a package here from them, and I got another package from here, right here, so, <coughs> I'm a big, big gamer, love games, been playing games all my life, <coughs> never will stop playing video games. I love physical editions, if you've seen my videos, I love to do unboxings of physical editions. And I'm also a super, super political, very opinionated, per opinionated, opinion, opinion, opinionated. I can't speak for the life of me. I'm, I'm very opinionated, if that makes sense. Anyways, uh, I like to share my opinions. I like to talk. Uh, I like to debate. I like to do all types of, you know, back and forth with people and this situation with limited run really got me upset because you know what what limited run did is actually kind of messed up and i'm a big fan i've been buying limited run games just recently i just heard about their company like about a year ago and it wasn't until what was it torok i found out that they made torok on the switch like a physical copy of it i was freaking out because you know i had a, I, I i ended up buying i ended up buying the resale price of it which again i Okay, I don't mind. I don't mind. It's my money. I work for my money and I want to use my money to buy things that I, I enjoyly would like to use or like to have. Torok is one of those kind of things I would love to have. And then I learned that they, they're going to do Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And then they did Star Wars Knights of the Republic 2. I grew up in those games. I, I have an unboxing of that one. So it sucks to see all this hate on limited run and all of it is valid valid hate very valid hate what sucks the most is seeing limited run not respond or even change their ways and i think that that's what really really does suck because there's some very very questionable things about this company that makes me want to second guess or second second like second thought you know second guess on making a purchase with them you know in the future I'm 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 not sure if this will be my last game. I know I'm expecting Enclave because I'm a big fan of Enclave as well. I was so happy when they brought that on the Switch and especially the physical form. I bought that day one when it you know even though I know it wasn't gonna sell out, I still had to buy it just because I'm a big fan. And I'm not gonna cancel my pre-order because you know see that's a tough one. Cause I guess, you know, it's a it's a tough situation because I don't understand what they were thinking if they were thinking anything at all or if they were trying to virtue signal I don't understand and that's what I mean I wish you know limited run would actually come out and talk instead of fucking you know completely just um closing down all their chats and comments on all their uh, all their social media pages very 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 annoying um I'm definitely going to start just using strictly limited run games as my as my main sorry at my work so I, that's the radio let me turn that off because i'm on break so i don't want that to be disturbed i'm gonna start using strictly limited run games as my main go-to to collect video games i think i'm gonna use limited run as my last go-to if there's a game i really 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 want maybe like they bring back an, i don't know like conquer's bad fur day or a 007 nintendo 64 some bullshit like that Okay, you know what? I really can't. It's hard. It is hard. And, you know, maybe that's the power of consumer. That's literally that's just consumerism. 
and it's 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 so hard to vote with the wallet but maybe i don't know you guys it's something that i've been thinking about i fucking hate when companies do this shit and the end of the days too why should we expect anything better from any company of that matter they only exist to make profit and usually making profit means making very disgusting choices like what they did firing their worker over what their opinions over following them it's some stupid shit you know some of that shit doesn't matter but it's it's honestly this gross capitalistic system that we live in it really is it's not even capitalism i even want to say it's capitalist socialism because there's some bullshit in all sides you know it's really is some gross human behavior it's not yeah it's human behavior it's gross human behavior because we can act better we can act better that's for sure we can do things a lot better but we don't and i don't know why i don't have all the answers and i wish i did but i don't i just i'm just living i'm literally just trying to live just like you and me watching this video and i'm gonna try to do an unboxing of this because you know what fuck limited run for what they did i hope i forget her name i hope she gets a better job i hope she you know finds her way out you know whatever happens happens limited run don't do shit like that again you probably will and you know what that's what sucks that's what sucks and you know, fucking turn back the comments on turn back the comments dude that's some fucked up shit that's some fucked up shit for everybody anyways i'm gonna do an unboxing let me see what we get here um yeah this is what i'm gonna be i'm not gonna burn my fucking thing i'm i'm not i'm not dumb you guys i'm not stupid i'm not gonna fucking i'm broke as a motherfucker i use my fucking money for hero clicks video games and my fucking girlfriend so like i don't have money to fucking burn all right that's some crazy shit i don't know who came up with that shit but that's some crazy stupid shit you know it's fucking oh shit i was about to expose myself right there Forgot I brought my handy dandy knife. Anyways, uh, yeah, so that's for the most part. I ended up buying this way before the whole debacle. Also, the other one, I this is something I bought in July. This is what I bought, like, I think December. It was before the debacle, or like just a day or a week before the debacle. It wasn't too long after the whole limited run debacle a limited run has been in some debacle in the past and you know i paid attention to it and i you know what i i nodded my i'm like what the fuck are they doing what do they have what are they fucking thinking and now with this is even worse because it's it, it, it maybe maybe they believe in this idea of any publicity is good publicity and if that's the case hey you know what more power to them more people will discover because i just found out about the company last year i'm one of those like brand newbies you know what i mean so if they're if they're trying to get people like me you know to hear about them and what they do maybe that's the whole thing maybe that's literally the whole reason on what they're trying to do it's just trying to get publicity publicity you know they're really just trying to get publicity out there i mean when travis scott did the whole astroworld concert you know Sure, people try to cancel him, but he became just bigger after because his name was all over the head. Like, who the fuck is this guy? And it just introduced... It literally is some sick psychology. Anyways, things that we got today here is... Crisis 2 and 3 Master. Crisis 2 and 3. We have Crisis 2 and... We have Crisis 2 and 3. So, I have Crisis 1. I bought that on Best Buy. Uh, I might put the video of when I picked it up because I did do a little video of me trying to vlog But it was just so weird. I just did not know how to vlog. I did not know how to talk to a camera in front of people But anyways, you guys um, Pretty excited to play these games on the switch. I've never played the crisis series I've always been like into the, the uh, whole benchmark when I was a kid because I would never afford a good PC But they used to use these as benchmarks. It was like the cyberpunk of lot of like 8th gen, 7th gen gaming. So it's like, oh, look, even says 2047. Isn't that crazy? Huh? It was literally the bench. Do you see that there? I'm not sure if it's gonna. I think it's not gonna sign me. I'm not even gonna bother. But, anyways, I guess the game takes place in 2047. I wouldn't know. Um. So, yeah, that's a pretty, pretty, pretty dope, pretty dope right there. Uh. And again, I'm, I'm at work right now, so I'm gonna try to. I can't. I can't be here forever. 
I'm gonna try to do it as fast as possible. This next one is another limited run, I'm pretty sure. Yep, limited run, it says it right here. It's probably backwards or whatever. Anyways, we're gonna do this limited run. And you know, the reason why I like to do these unboxings is just for fun. You know, I uh, I don't know, I like to I like to share what I get. I like to see if you guys like to share what you guys get too. I like to see a lot of unboxing, so it's like, and then it also gives you a chance to decide if you guys wanna buy this game or not. You know, I bought this on Limited Run's website for like 30 bucks, so it wasn't that bad. You know, like again, I despise these shitty companies. I really fucking do. I would never, I would never wear a limited run fucking shirt. I would never buy merch from them. Let me, let me go that far. I would only be there to buy their fucking games. I would never fucking buy. Now that's some weird shit. When you rep those kind of shit, when you're being, oh, it, when you're, you're literally sponsoring, you're literally sponsoring other people. You're advertising. You're a walking billboard. You're literally advertising that person's company, and you're paying them to do that. That's some crazy fucking shit. If they gave me a shirt that said. You know, limited run games. I might fucking design it, do something to it, something cool. You know, add my little own style. Maybe I'll just wear it like that. But I would never fucking buy their merch. Never. They gotta pay me, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. Unless it's like some badass shit. Cause I bought it. I guess it cool. One of the coolest shit I bought it was like this hoodie that said backwoods. And they never paid me to wear that shit. I was just wearing it. And I was walking backwards billboard, but other than that, that shit was a really dope tight sweater, bro. My girlfriend had lost it though, man. Oh man, shout out to my girlfriend though, but she still she she lost that shit. Can you believe that? It's a very nice sweater. Anyways, whoa, shit. we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Turtles game, that's badass. And we got a Michelangelo card. I did not remember ordering this, but I'll take it. Michelangelo is my favorite, so I'll take this. This is badass. This is badass as well. I bought the VHS for the Star Wars one. So now I have two VHS. Which is gonna do my Nintendo VHS collection, which is badass. This is kind of cool. I uh, quick story. I already have this game, Physical Edition. I think Signature Edition Games did a uh, did a run on this. And if not, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll do a side by side. And Signature Run had already fucking delivered the game within like two weeks after I purchased it. Was I was in, in July. They took seven months to draw. See, see, no limited run. You guys, you guys. I don't know what the fuck you guys are thinking, man. This is badass to have, but I had already fucking. I've already bought the game. I already opened up. Which I wasn't thinking of opening this is up. Anyways, that's another thing too. You guys gotta remember. I'm gonna resell this bullshit once I'm old. I'm gonna leave this shit as for my kids. You know, like you, you guys might say, oh, you lose no resale value. You know, like. Just fucking wait. Just fucking wait till the fucking big the big reset happens or the great reset happens and our digital we own nothing and we'll be happy. You know, these physical copies, man. I love physical copies. You guys, you know what? Limited run, stop fucking up. Stop fucking put me in charge for just one day. Let me run your company for one fucking day. Let me see what I can do. And we'll see. But you know what? You guys make some great fucking products. I'm always sad. Especially because the price aren't half bad. You get for what you... It's a resale prices are fucking disgusting. But the... Oh, come on, man. You guys... I get it, guys. I get the hate towards them. They deserve it. They really fucking do. Um, oh, man. This is badass. This is really fucking cool. Um, and then, Bonus. We got a bonus, actually. We got a bonus. I mean... Leave this right to my trust. I had bought in. I had placed a bid earlier on um I placed a bid on eBay a while ago and we'll see what we get on this bid. 
I would love to do like more gameplay videos on some of these games. So an envelope within an envelope? Nani? Anyways, <laughs> you thought hey they fucked me up with that one. Hey, I really shout out to the old school game vault. Uh, Morden Grove, uh, Illinois. Shout out to those guys. Great fucking packaging. Shout out to, shout out to some of these packages, man. Great fucking people, dude. Great fucking packages. <coughs> man, that weed got me caught in up. Anyways, you guys. <coughs> Whoa, so. This is what we got on our. This is pretty cool. So this, this on our last and not um, definitely not least uh, for our surprise unboxing game that we are gonna get is another. As I already saw it, we have the Legacy of Cain on the PlayStation. So remember, I said I love physical copies, guys. I fucking love physical copies. I will collect games that I, I cannot fucking get my hands on. And this right here, I can't get my hands on. I have a PC. And I found out I can't even play this shit on PC. So I'm gonna buy, but definitely, I'm gonna definitely look for a PS1 adapter to an HDMI. But um, holy shit, this is the coolest thing I've had. Holy shit. It's almost, it's almost like, in, it's almost like a fucking foreign thing trying to open these kind of games. Wow. And it even has Gex in here. Wow, dude. Wow. Just wow. I'm, I'm absolute, I, I love it. I love this. I absolutely, this is the best thing I've opened up so far. From, holy shit, I've never... It has the whole book and everything. I'm absolutely. I'm. This is the best purchase I made. I only got this for like twenty bucks or twenty five bucks, thirty in total with the shipping. Best purchase I've made. Thank you, uh, Game Vault. Is that the Game Vault? The old school Game Vault. Great fucking people. Um, I'm gonna leave you guys a great, 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 great fucking review. Cannot wait to play this game. Thank you guys for watching. Fuck you, limited run, and you guys have a great one. Stay safe.